In the middle of the hot, dusty outback, speeding along the Stewart Highway, you could blink and miss it. Larimer, the highway town that doesn't look like much, a place where crocodiles are pets and the ageing population sits steady at less than a dozen. But behind the Pink Panther pub and a tea house lies a dark mystery. Northern Territory Police are now treating the disappearance of Paddy Moriarty as suspicious. Hey, we're coming in for a beer. Paddy moved to Australia from Ireland when he was 18. With no apparent family ties, he made Larimer home. Like clockwork, Paddy and his dog Kelly would join publican Barry Sharp at the Pink Panther Hotel for a round of drinks. Until one day, late in 2017, Paddy had his last. The back door was open. I went inside and called out to him. Had a look at all the rooms. No, no, no Paddy. This is the house Paddy lived in before he went missing. And less than 100 metres away sat the home and the tea shop of Larimer's so-called pie lady, Fran Hodgetts. The pair were known to bicker and squabble. Paddy and Fran were separated by the Stewart Highway and a hostility so deep, they ended up in court. Tensions had been building in Larimer long before the missing persons case arrived in the hands of police. He started stirring shit around town about what I was doing in the kitchen and how much I was selling my pies for and oh, it was this and it was that because he was very jealous, you see, very jealous of what I've got here and, and plus um, the pub, I'm opposition to the pub. Police divers searched the now dry dam. Helicopters scoured the arid land, but nothing was unearthed. Last year, a quarter of a million dollars was offered up for information about Paddy Moriarty. NT police believed it was murder. In 2018, the entire town was called to Catherine to give evidence in the first half of an inquest. There, Fran told the coroner she never murdered Paddy. Her gardener, Owen Laurie, told the court he had nothing to do with the disappearance either. He said he was joking when he told Fran, if anyone touches my garden, it will be the first murder in Larimer. Four years later, the official search for answers is resuming. A previously divided town now united in wanting to close this chapter. It's probably brought the town closer together, like it's made us work together. But not everyone's convinced the town will get the answers they need. I think if anything that has happened, we would have heard about it by now. It's now up to the coroner. Roxanne Fitzgerald, ABC News.